from now on for everybody. No cash, no coins, no conversation. Just keep on going through the Lincoln Tunnel tolls. CBS 2's Christina Fan has more on this new system that went into effect today. Toll booths at the Lincoln Tunnel shut down forever Sunday, becoming the final Port Authority crossing to switch to cashless tolling. While the end of an era was nostalgic to some. I'm one of the guys who probably wishes the guy's still in the toll booth. There is an exchange when you talk to people in the toll booth. You know, there, there's a moment where you say hello. Most commuters rejoiced at the news. I don't think anybody will miss it. I can't wait. I mean, cash is the best. Instead of stopping to pay, drivers are now encouraged to maintain marked speeds as they approach overhead gantries. For Easy Pass drivers, nothing's new. But those without an account will have images of their license plate captured by cameras and a bill will be sent by mail. It's just a, an easier, smoother drive. The switch won't just cut down on drive times, it will also reduce emissions and the number of car accidents. At other bridges where the technology is already in place, crashes have decreased by 70%. When you have sudden stops, you know, uh, this guy's got an easy pass, this guy's got cash, I think that might probably create little incidents. Uh, uh, by the, by the bridges and tunnels. It will take several years before toll booths are fully removed so that the demolition process doesn't disrupt commuters. But once work is complete, drivers will be able to travel at open road speeds. Hoboken is, um, you know, we have a lot of traffic in and out from here. And so it would be great if it didn't back up because it backs all the way up to here and makes it hard to get in and out. Deactivation of the toll booths also means the carpool discount plan is now over because new technology cannot count the number of people in a car. The Port Authority says it is working on solutions to address the issue. In Weehawken, New Jersey, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News.